Here's a tip on getting your sound card working in Cubase. Go to Devices, Device Setup, and in the left box where it says VST Audio System, click that, and where it says ASIO Driver on the right, pick the driver that goes with your sound card. I'm using the ASIO for All driver, it's free, and it works really good with uh, many different sound cards. So once we have that, we can go OK. Now we'll set up the inputs and outputs. VST, sorry, the VST connections. And there's inputs and outputs tabs here at the top. Go to the inputs. This is your audio device. Set. Um, sometimes it'll say not connected. You just want to make sure it's set to your sound card. And then in device port, this is where you see all the different inputs that are available on your sound card. I have two, so I'm going to set those up. And then I'll go to the outputs tab, make sure the audio device is set again. Device port, make sure my appropriate outputs are connected. Okay, now we should have sound. And you can see in the transport bar here, there's the audio coming in from my microphone. So we'll just do a quick little test. I'll add a track make sure my input set my microphones in my left input uh, which is channel one so I'll make sure that that's set in the track inspector here which you can get to right here hit record test 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 okay so we should be good to go Cubase periodically resets its driver. Either the sound card got removed from the system, or sometimes it seems to do it without any rhyme or reason. So if you're just setting up for the first time, or if you find yourself without any sound, this is a good place to start. Thanks for watching.